Okay. Very nice stay at the Vincent Hotel. Not in Manchester. Yeah, just to clarify for the 19th million time, this hotel is definitely in Southport because there's the beach. Also, fun fact, if you zoom in and see that right there, that's Blackpool Tower. Uh, well, they did say it was gonna be pretty naff today, so that kind of sucks, but if I've got enough time, I'm gonna try and rush my ass on downstairs to a spa, have a massage, a deep tissue massage, so I feel like fresh. And then, maybe go over to Blackpool, because there's a new ride at the Pleasure Beach. So if it's open today, I right, go and check it out. And Hot Tub, you were worth every second. That was the most amazing thing that ever happened last night. I think there was like loads of soap in the system. When we turned it on, it just went absolutely crazy. It overflowed like off all of the edges and was magical. Anywho, let's try and get a spa. <laughs> I walked out of the penthouse suite and was like, right, time to find this spa. Looked across the way. I made it. The massage place was right across the way. So I'm going to have a deep tissue aromatherapy full body facial massage. Mm. See you in an hour and 15 minutes. Mm. That was a very, very nice massage. I'm as lubed up as a slug, but we won't worry about that. Exploring time. After that gym session, I 100%, 100% needed that. Bath pool, what have you got to offer? I don't know if there's any shops around here or anything like that, because it's like a beach town. So, because it's a beach town, I assume you just like buy chalk and like play penny slot machines. <laughs> okay, I have to look in the shop. Royal Arcade, collectibles, paintings, mirrors, clocks, china. Look in the window. I simply have to, don't I? There's a goddamn Terminator in there. I'm going in. I'm doing it. What have you got to show me, boys? Impress me. Very, very random collections. Do you want a tie? You want an emoji? We got emojis. Have you been upstairs? It's five times as big. Oh boy. Luke would love this place. Hmm. This is an awesome collection. It's all the cars from the James Bond movies. Oh, that's so sick. Really, really, really want to buy that. I know it'd just be tat around my house, but that's cool. If there was any James Bond car to buy, that is the bad boy right there. The DB5. This place there's just toys and toys and toys and figurines. But then check this one out. Check this cabinet. Surely there has to be something in there worth some money. If anyone's a collector, let me know. They were not joking. This building just keeps on going. Mate, I could spend all day in here looking for little random trinkets. I feel like I've gone on such a random adventure. You know, like when I got on the bird scooter and was just traveling around exploring. I feel like I'm doing that, but in England. And maybe I need to do this more often. So much random stuff. Like, mate, this makes me want to get into like antiques. Cause like, I guarantee you in this building somewhere, in these cabinets, there is something so rare that's worth like a million pounds. And also that's pretty racist. You should get rid of those. Oh, oh, oh. Our house wine is Jägermeister. That's pretty good. If you never had the Thunderbird set as a kid, were you really a child? Were you really? Look at that, there's the other one. Oh, oh wait, where's, where's Thunderbird 2? Have they got Thunderbird 2 in here? They don't. Pfft. Thunderbird 2 is the best. A couple just walked past me, past those dolls that I just showed you that are like super racist, and they couldn't believe that they'd seen them because like where I'm from, and in the UK at least, they're considered so wrong, so racist, and everywhere I'm looking through this shop, they're scattered, they're just hidden everywhere, like Easter eggs, it's awful. I'm tempted to buy them, to throw them away. Found it, I actually found it. Thunderbird 2. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that is the OG one as well, I used to have that as a kid. Oh, 12 quid, I might buy it. Wow. I've got that at home and it's selling for 55 pounds. Mate, I've made money. I've got it for like a fiver. It just keeps on going. If you've ever seen Only Fools and Horses, this is where you're making money. A pocket watch. I thought this might be worth some money, but it's actually only worth four pounds, so the person who's pricing everything up in here is doing a pretty good job. I want to do a load of like antique thrift store challenges like, you know, go and find an outfit for the day or a theme or go and collect something. Or you've got like a hundred pounds, try and get the most valuable things that you think you can collect. 
I think you make a fun YouTube series, like invite people to come and do it. Not dressed in biker boots and a tweed jacket, hell yeah. This place is like amazing. It, look, it just keeps going. That's another full room in there. There's a full room in there. There's a train room in there. And then I've got all this room. I'm trying to get out because I'm about to shit myself. Straight up, that shop is amazing. It's absolutely huge, but, oh, Defender Assemble. About to shit myself. So, <clears throat> nope. What I also noticed when I looked in the mirror when I was in the toilet is um, all the oil that she put on me makes me look hella greasy. Like behind my ear, if I go like that, look how greasy it is. But it's not grease, it's like oils that are good for you. But to other people, they don't know that. I just look really sweaty. Ugh. And we continue with this. What is going on here? What is going on here? This was hands down one of the best Bond cars that ever was. The guns coming out of the bonnet were incredible. But check this one out. This is a kind of a cool collector's one because his car's like super epic. It's got loads of gadgets, but then it gets cut in half. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. What is this? Is this the tumbler? Is that what it's called? Whoa. I like that. Oh, but its wheels come off. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, there's another one. Yes. That's so cool. I love these. You can tell I'm just an absolute massive nerd at heart, you know. Me and Bay over here. Time for some lovely afternoon tea in the restaurant of the hotel. Looks quite nice. The hotel room was absolutely lovely, but the smell of like the open drains was just dis disgusting. So I said something to the hotel staff. I was like, just to let you know, a lovely hotel, it would have been perfect if the, the hotel room didn't smell of like moistness, whatever. So they treated me to afternoon tea and here's the afternoon tea. And that's all I can eat, really. I ate the sandwiches with like the health, like smoked salmon and stuff like that. I ate that. But as for this, thanks for the offer, but I'm going to box this up, take it home, and give it as a gift to my family. All in all, very lovely. This is the edgiest hotel I've ever been to and restaurant because in the bathroom there's a sign that says, Stand closer, it's shorter than you think. Damn! Pretty edgy. But then there's this Dear Vincent Cab Driver, please take me home too. And then look for my cash in my bag, my top, my bra, trousers, skirt, boxer shorts, shirt, socks, and thongs. <clears throat> All right, who's the who's the mean ward in charge of this? Because this is pretty edgy. Did not expect to come to Southport and bump into like thirty people. I don't. I think they're all on like college trips or whatever. But walking into New Look to get like a jumper because I'm absolutely freezing. Don't know why I thought the weather was going to be good. I bumped into like one guy, which then led to two guys, and then led to like ten, then to twenty, to thirty. Like there was so many people that all the locals were walking past. Like, why is this guy taking photos with people? It's kind of awkward, but nonetheless, very nice to meet people. I had no idea I had homies representing in Southport. Legends. Going to Blackpool seems like a great idea. Gonna be me in about three seconds. Absolutely soaking wet because I really want to go see this new ride. <laughs> oh, hi Blackpool. Please weather gods, treat us well, please. All right, the weather's against us, but... Oh yeah, the rides are still running. Hello, hi there. <laughs> Time to find a poncho ASAP because we've only got one hour before we have to leave. So let's get inside. Oh no, I hate that place. I used to be terrified that as a kid. Good park entrance, woo! Only well, we got like 10 minutes to close in, but sure. Excited. We've just seen absolutely loads of people leave because they're all going back to the schools and the coaches and the school trips, and it's the park's empty. This is what I'm talking about. Let's try and get on the new ride ASAP. There it is. The UK's first double acceleration roller coaster. Not sure what that means, but sure. This part of the piston ride. Shit. Oh, it's deep. Great, I'm soaked, my feet are drenched. Oh, Icon, look at it go, it's going on it. Here we go, Icon time. Yes, forgot to buy a poncho. It's so fucking epic. Oh, this music's got me pumped. The rain, not so much. What the heck's going on over here? Just titties everywhere. No, it's broken. We're so close yet so far. So close, yet so far. Got that close to it and it popped up saying, sorry, we're broken, don't know when we'll be fixed. Oh, those people have been stuck outside in the rain for ages. She is not impressed. <laughs> well, that took like 15 minutes wait, but it was worth it. Really, really good. I could go home now, that was good. Wonder why it's called it the big one? Look, it goes straight up. It's pretty big. Hey, I have to go in the Icon. Absolutely brand new, felt fresh as anything. Smooth ass ride. Beautiful, loved it. That big one is so ancient. Dude, I feel like I broke my back on that. I swear to God, it threw me around so much. And at one point I came out of the seat, landed and was like, ah! Oh! Whiplash! Seriously, why? 
Why? Why? Don't close! We're gonna try and get on this one. Uh, Thank you so much. This guy's a legend. He was like, Tom, I was like, sprinting from ride to ride. Very nice of you, dude. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get absolutely soaked. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Oh my god, no. To the edge of glory. Uh, this is fine. Everything's fine. Okay, 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 okay. So that we're gonna get Very scary. Yes, yeah, straight out of Game of Thrones. Yeah. Look at that! <laughs> oh, yeah, this was great. Oh, shit! Oh, oh. wet. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Danke, you're dead, man. You're man. Sickest ride ever. The stamina on this thing is insane. It's been going since I walked into the park. Go on, big boy. To the food shop, and I've been told that this stuff is exactly what I need for when I'm cooking, like my mushrooms or anything like that, because don't be using none of this shit. This apparently is what I need. 95% less fat. Hell yes. Oh my God. This might be the greatest package ever! All I'm saying is that I read the name of the company that sent this and oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, it's actually arrived. It's actually... A flamethrower! Oh, I mean, I mean, I mean, not a flamethrower. Oh my gosh, no way. I have been waiting for this for so many months. I actually bought a flamethrower from Elon Musk. Wait, what? What is this? Dear not so boring customer, the lawyers have spoken and due to shipping restrictions, we can't mail your fiery propane fuel internationally. To make it up to you, we've included some cold hard cash. <laughs> so you can stroll to your local store and pick up some nice C3H8. Blah, blah, blah. Go to all these places to get it. Um, see page five of the flamethrower, <laughs> not a flamethrower instructions for further information. <gasps> <laughs> I can't believe I've got a flame. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm number 01639. And because it already made all these, they'd put not a on it as well. <laughs> Sick. Oh, when the zombie apocalypse comes, ladies and gentlemen, when it comes, I am going to be ready for it with not a flamethrower. <laughs> That is the sickest thing I think I've ever bought. Elon Musk, you're a legend. Thank you so much for this. I love you. But oh, this one's damaged. I say damaged. It's not that damaged. It's just a little thing. But when you buy something new, you want it to be perfect, don't you? But uh, where they've taken away the old gas canister, it's scratched all the top of it, which won't make a difference when the gas canister's on. But oh my gosh, the boring company. Oh no, there's a nick in the G. Oh, I, I know I'm sounding like a, like a perfectionist, but it's Elon Musk, man. Everything should be perfect. And after a long day, I can't believe that I can't just run around with my flamethrower firing in the air like David Dobrik, like <laughs> scaring everyone. But I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell no one I've got it, walk into the room with it blaring and try and not burn the house down. So guys, in tomorrow's vlog, you may or may not see me flaming in. Uh, 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 no. Flaming on. <laughs> there you go. With a flamethrower. Fantastic for reference there. Really shit film, but I'm hoping this flamethrower is better. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching the vlog. I hope you have enjoyed it. I did end the vlog there just because we got back. It was kind of late. It was like half past nine, nearly 10 o'clock. It doesn't look like it because in England right now, it goes dark so late in the night. You just have so many hours of the day. But I made the most of it. I went around Southport. I had a lot of fun. Cannot believe I bumped into so many people. Like seriously, never in my life did I think I'd go to Southport on a random Monday and bump into a load of fans. Like I even figured like people would be like work, college or something like that. Uh, no, they were all out on the streets of Southport and I happened to bump into probably every single view I've ever had in Southport. It was actually incredible. So to you guys, very, very nice to meet you. To people I met at Blackpool Pleasure Beach, super awesome to meet you there as well. And I had fun at Blackpool. If I did go back to go uh, Blackpool, I'd probably put a GoPro chest mount on, you know, for the rides and stuff because like, 
um, a lot of the rides had spaces where I could have had the GoPro on and filmed it, but uh, you can't have your phone out, and I didn't want to get in trouble at my local sort of like theme park place filming it on a phone because that's how accidents happen, and I don't really want to do that. As always, guys, make sure you leave that like, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow at 6 p.m. for the next daily vlog. If you're like, subscribe, what does that mean? If you're watching this video right now on the YouTubes or wherever the hell you're watching it, on the tube of you, all right, sign into YouTube, make an account, log in, click subscribe on my channel. It'll go from subscribe to subscribed. Ding dong, a little bell that'll appear next to it. That means you get all the notifications and I'll see you guys in the next video. And if you're one of the legends who clicks that thumbs up button every day, I appreciate you. You smart, you loyal, frame on, and it's adios.